Hello everybody and welcome back to Summer Night Soulcraft Story. Well guys, since last time we got the core parts, now we are free to make the weapon that we need to make. However, I have to have full disclosure with you guys, this is not the same save file that we were using last time. This save file contains things that were used during my few test runs of this game and um, the reason for that is my other save file got corrupted. So, unfortunately, all our progress up to that one and that point has disappeared. Which is very unfortunate because I've got things like this sword, which I now can't show you how to get. Which is actually a pretty decent sword. So, um, best thing I can recommend is you go on GameFAQ and have a look if you're using this walk as a walkthrough. Which, uh, I won't be covering everything in this, so you guys really should if you want to do that. I personally just like to play through a game and enjoy it, and if I know how to get cool stuff, I'll definitely go and do it, but I won't go out of my way to look for things until I've beaten the game a few times, so it all depends on how you guys want to uh, play the game. So yeah, like I said, last time, let's go up, but please, get a copy of this game, it's an awesome game, and I really enjoyed it, and play along with me, why not? Alrighty, so let's go create some uh, materials now. We've got a whole bunch of items over here, so uh, let's just turn them into materials, shall we? There we go. Getting a nice lot of water over there, some more fire. Some core parts. Nice indeed. Some actual core parts. Some large bolts, which give us more core parts. we actually got more core parts than water at the moment. Okay. Very nice indeed. Like I say, this won't represent what you guys have seen me collecting, because it is a little bit different. But in the vast majority, this is the closest save file I could find. And bar me playing the game all over again, which means you guys wouldn't get a video for weeks upon weeks, <laughs> to, for me to catch up to this point again and get everything exactly right. This was the closest thing I could do to it. Now, some of my other Let's Plays weren't as fortunate. Uh, my main favourite Let's Play on this channel so far, my uh, Pokemon Sage Let's Play, didn't meet with the same fate. It is completely wiped out. It was right before the, f the, the first gym, which is currently the last part of that game, so that kind of sucks. Alrighty, do we have the Knuckles in this one? I can't remember if I managed... Nope. I didn't manage to get Razzie's Knuckles in this one, which is a bit of a problem because I was planning on using those. But anyway, let's get this new technique with the core parts. Hammer that out. Yep! There we go. And we get the Gladius. Alrighty, so it's finished. I'll show this to me. Alrighty. So let's create a weapon quickly. And we want to make another Gladius. Yep, and we want to add an enchantment to it, so let's do this. So that's a little tip for you guys, if you ever want to add an enchantment to your weapon, you just reforge it after you've already made it once, and you get the Spark Gladius. More powerful than an original Gladius. Nice indeed. As you can see, there is quite a difference, both in durability and in attack. Alrighty, so let's equip the Spark Gladius over here, and get rid of the Burning Rota and the Wind Slasher for now, because we never actually got those things. And let's equip it. Alrighty, so we got the Spark. Gladius. Very nice weapon indeed. Alrighty, let's head down and talk to Master Bron and see what he has to say. Really? Alrighty, let's get a drill type, shall we? Nice. Okay, and let's head on out. He said we should uh, show this to Master Sakura, so let's do that indeed. Alrighty, so let's head up to the second floor of the lovely city of Western. And come and see Master Sakura, the man with the famous curry. Or the man famous for his enjoying curry, maybe? Because we made the awesome curry. Just so so? What? Oh.
<laughs> hey, what do you have against people with glasses? <laughs> Mopey, that's a fun word. Well, not, not fun in meaning, but it's fun to say. Mopey, 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 mopey. Alrighty. So now is Sakura still going to be the adjudicator? Because if that is the case, I would think he's got a slight leaning towards Kleru, which wouldn't be too fair, but you never know. Maybe he's one of those type of people that you can rely on to be fair in anything. And, um... Oh, is that... that's the next level up, hey? Yeah, over here. There we go. I've always wanted to come here when it's not, like, told for you to do in the story, just to see what happens. So let's do that. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing to see. Alrighty, so it wasn't a good idea to come here. Oh well. Okay. Out we go. Let's get caught. Yeah, thank you. And let's speak. So yeah, so as you can see, um, equipment wise, we've got the Spark Gladius and the Iron Necklace over here. Spark Gladius has lovely durability at 120 over there. I mean, if you compare it over here, if we got something like this, Normal Gladius is 95, Burning Rota is 80, Nano Rota, so pretty much its durability is amazing. Normally, if you guys want to, I would suggest that you go and you tech up, get your tech stat way up so it'll be even better but we can just go in like this and take on the twins now alrighty so we are ready yep yep okay we are going to take on the twins nope Hmm, okay. Yep. Let's do this thing. Alrighty. I still don't get how she can use a person as a summon creature, but anyway. So we want to come in here and make sure that we've got all our things ready. Okay, as you can see, we need to get her on the defensive, but our thunder attacks do quite a bit of damage. But at the same time, her weapon, the drill, at this point in the game, it's not really worth getting. So if you guys just want to defeat her straight up, I really would recommend it, because at this point in the game, I just don't see the use for her drill as compared to the normal weapons that you can make now that you have access to the core parts. You can make a better drill for yourself, almost, so... I would really suggest just going all out on her and just getting rid of her health, because her drill isn't all that good in the grand scheme of things. And also, since I haven't teched up, I don't really have much of an option otherwise. So yeah, yeah, she's not too much of a threat at all, so, unless she gets multiple hits on you and then just starts going crazy, so, but you've always got your backup healing spells. And keeping with the lightning theme, let's just go with the chain spark over here. Don't know if that will actually hit her, yeah, it does, good. And a few more hits. And she's almost gone. There we go. All done. Very nicely done, indeed. Alrighty. A lot of experience. No level up, almost though.
Yeah. <laughs> Clearu, you put your foot in it there. Oh, you're gonna have the activists all over you. That it is, and that it is. But guys, we will have to leave the walking for another day. Yes guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Once again, sorry that it's not the same save file as before, but it is the one that is closest as I could possibly get to it. So yeah, hope you've all really really enjoyed. And I will see you next time where we will have a good midnight stroll with our friends. Good night, everybody. And as always, my name is Athos. God bless.